Hello and welcome back to another episode of Project Arai. Now, I don't know about you, but looking at Google Earth and looking at this place, I do kind of feel that I've kind of bitten off way more than I can chew. Um, I have had my eye on this place for a very, very long time. And... I hadn't even dared think of it or even think of attempting to do it because there is so much that is going to go into this. I, I cannot cover this in one to two, three episodes. I'm, I'm going to need at least four to five, I'm thinking. Like looking at Osaka Castle, I am thinking that I am. I, I, I'm I'm going to need a few episodes to even sort this out, try and even figure out how it's all even going to be put together. There's not... I, I've tried to do my best to put quite a decent amount in this episode because by the time... And I'm going to go over it in a few minutes, but by the time I'd kind of tried to figure out like what I wanted to build and where I was going to build, I honestly didn't really have a great deal of time so even as for this episode there's parts of stuff that i've had to kind of not glance over but kind of change and you know do a little bit of jumps between stuff um and there's some things that are unfinished because i'm not sure how i'm gonna go in that direction yet so i've kind of done like a little cut off point for certain parts but I feel like that there's enough in this episode for um, you kind of to get the gist on how we're going to go with this. But before then, I do want to just talk about the castle itself. Um, my, the reason I didn't even want to attempt to do this um, yet, because I tried to use Odori, if you remember, I'd spoken in the past about that was kind of my testing ground for the city. Um, getting comfortable working at different heights and trying to blend it together and make it look realistic and all that type of stuff. And what gave me a great deal of confidence as well is the beach episodes because we were working on multiple heights, working our way down, um, not only from like the main road to the houses, all being on different levels and the train tracks, and then working down to where the beach level is going to be. And then after that, where the ocean is going to be and all that great stuff. So that gave me a great deal of confidence. But then after the beach um, was fully completed, I kind of didn't know what to do after that point. I was like looking at the city and looking at everything that we had. And obviously in my head, I've got ideas on where stuff is going to go and all that type of stuff but i just i just didn't know where to go myself so i figured the best thing to do would be to ask you all what i should do and i got some great um recommendations of people i know in the past someone has mentioned a prison i am very excited about doing a prison or at least figuring out how to do a prison um, I'm going to have to look at some Japanese um, prisons and see kind of like what they look like so I can get the same look. Um, I am extremely excited to figure out how that's going to be put together. <laughs> and we also got the recommendation of continuing the skyline for the city. to So basically more skyscrapers and figuring out how that's going to go. And that actually was going to be this week's episode, but... I started doing it and I just, I don't know. I just kind of like stopped after like 30 minutes and I just, I just felt so unmotivated to even do it. And luckily I, I got more recommendations Two people recommending doing a Chinatown. And I was super excited about a Chinatown because I've not done anything even remotely like that yet. And then came the question of, okay, well, where are we going to put it? And that's actually what led to us actually building Osaka um, Castle first. Because 
I want to kind of have like a funnel, if you will. So you've got like the city centre. And that's obviously where everyone's going to get off the trains and all that type of stuff. And then they're going to come south to what is going to be a big draw for the city because this park is going to be almost like Central Park in New York. Um, this park is going to be surrounded by tall buildings and all that type of stuff. So it's going to be surrounded almost on all sides. So this is kind of going to be like the jewel of the city, if you will. So we've, we've got to kind of make sure that we do this right. And it looks really, really good. So. Wow, I completely forgot where I was going with this now. <laughs> ah, yeah, that's it. Um, the Chinatown. So I want the, um, the Sims to kind of like funnel from where the city center is and then south to the park and then i want just to the right of the park there to be like this cut out between the buildings with loads of signs just littered everywhere and it's going to be like this long alleyway that weaves in multiple directions and that's going to be the chinatown section um I'm going to go really heavy on it. I'm going to try and look at like some cyberpunk um, Chinatown, like see how they laid that theirs out. And I'm also going to look at like some Google uh, map pictures and all that type of stuff and just kind of see how crazy we can make the Chinatown <laughs> actually look. I think it'd be cool if we just go absolutely wild on it. Um, we just shove a ton of detail in it. Now, as for the episode, like what I said, how it led, um, how Chinatown actually led to the episode is because I, I can't build the Chinatown without building the park first because I want the, the two entrances to be really close to each other and I want it to kind of feed off of each other. So I, I can't do one without the other without knowing in my head kind of where things are going to go. So we're building Osaka Castle first, which is going to take quite a few episodes. I'm not going to lie. I want to go heavy on the detail and realism. It's not going to be a one for one. Um, there are going to be aspects that are going to be very close, as close as I can get them, but it's not going to be a one for one because I'll be honest, I left a massive space for the park, uh, a space that I figured that I'd actually left too much room and it turns out that I didn't leave enough room. <laughs> I didn't leave enough room. Um, so I'm still trying to figure that out as we build. Um, I have off camera that you can't really see too much. I've kind of done the basic layout um, of like the whole area kind of. So it does fit, but there's going to be certain areas that are going to be kind of a little bit snug. I'm going to see if, what I can do to kind of change that because I don't want this to be too close to the motorway, which I think it might end up being by the end of it. Not too sure yet because obviously stuff changes when you actually start putting the buildings down and figuring out the car park's actual sizes and stuff like that. So we're just going to have to see. But this is going to be done over multiple episodes. There's no way... I can fit this in an hour episode or something like that because there's just so much that needs doing. And this week's episode would have actually been longer with a bit more stuff put in it. But by the time I figured out where I was going to build, what I was going to do, I I didn't have enough time left. Um, it's a miracle, I'll be honest, that I've even managed to squeeze out this episode. With the time that I had, uh, th this was really rushed and I'm I'm very shocked that it's turned out and looked as decent as it did with, I think I had like six hours or something like that just to build and put this episode together. I really had, I felt like I was racing a clock. I had that little time. So... I'm sorry if some things look a little bit weird and some things are a little bit skipped over. 
Um, but I was really fighting the clock on this one, I'll be honest. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, it was my own fault in a way, but it, it is what it is. Um, I'm, I kind of have a feeling that this is going to be... I'm hoping that I can build all of this in four episodes, or maybe... I'll do like an hour episode for each of them and then it won't be so spaced out. Um I'm not I'm not too sure. It depends how much time I have free to be able to actually put the episode together and all that type of stuff. But I'll try and figure it out and see kind of what happens. Now there are some things in this episode I do want to go over as well. And that is I've tried to mix two different building styles together. And one of them is the camera stays still and we'd fill out some sections and then, you know, certain stuff phases in. Now, I'm thinking of using that type of style for when we do a lot of repetitive stuff. And I'm talking like car parks, a lot of foliage and trees being placed down. Because I do it so much in the episodes that looking back, like sometimes like 10 to 15 minutes are taken up on stuff that we've seen so many times that I'm thinking it might just be better if I just use that different type of style. So I've put it in this episode and if you'd be so kind as to give me some feedback on if you prefer the stuff that we actually go over a lot like the car parks and the foliage like what i've said if you prefer seeing that type of stuff done in that way and we still concentrate a lot on the detailing um because i, I need to get in with the camera for the detailing um so that's never really going to change because my ocd brain has to zoom in and i have to make sure the lines are me and the lines and and everything's just at the right height, so I can't see that changing anytime soon. But yeah, if you'd be so kind as to let me know what you think of us doing a lot of the other stuff, like what I said, um, you know, just zoomed out a little bit more. Um, I know I'm going over it again, but yeah, if you'd just be so kind as to let me know, I'd really appreciate that, because after all, I make these videos for fun, and the more that you guys enjoy them, the better I think it is, really. Now, there are going to be parts of this episode where I kind of do like a cutoff, um, where I stop detailing a certain part and I stop pushing that side. And I just want to clarify that this is because I'm not sure what I'm going to build there yet. So I'm using it kind of like a, just like what I said, a cutoff point. Um, we're going to stop building up until that point and we're just going to, Cut it straight off and come back to it in another episode because that's where it'll be taken off from. So if you see some areas like um, the car park, we don't detail to the left of it. We just keep going right like we have been. That's because I'm, I'm just not sure what we're going to put there yet, to be quite honest. Okay, so I am kind of running out of time for the first time, like in real life. Um, there are some stuff that I would like to talk about in this episode but i i'll be honest i just don't have the time and i'm up super early in the morning gotta get stuff done so i am gonna have to just leave you with the rest of the episode and hopefully next week's episode i can go over some of the stuff that i was wanting to talk about in this episode um but i've i've, I've just run out of time in real life sadly so I want to thank you all for watching and I hope that this episode kind of you can kind of see where we're going to go in the future and what my thoughts are on certain stuff but yeah I hope you enjoy the rest of the episode I want to thank you all for watching and like always I'll see you all in the next one